to evict Sunshine, call 090-11-323-014. Calls cost 50p from a BT landline, other networks may be higher, and mobiles will cost considerably more. 15p from each call will be donated to charity. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash Big Brother voting closes in Friday's show. After the break, we'll be recording the official You versus the Housemate record attempt. Yes, but first, we've just received some breaking news coming in direct from the website. Not only will one of our three nominated housemates leave on Friday, another housemate not in that trio will also be making their way out of the Big Brother doors. Oh, the mystery! I'm logging on now. See you in four. Time now, 6.16. Still to come, we're going to be speaking to a comedy legend. Uh, and we'll be recording the official You versus the Housemates attempt. But first, before the break, we just got word on a breaking story emerging from the house. So here's Emma to tell you all about it, along with the rest of the news. Now, as we revealed yesterday, Ben was set a challenge by the Tree of Temptation where he had to compete in an arm wrestling contest with the rest of the housemates. But after 10 hours, Ben failed and the Tree wasn't happy. In fact, he was barking out. What are you playing at, Quiffed? What am I? What do you think I'm playing I told at? you to man up. I gave you something to do to prove it. And what have you done so far? Absolutely bottled it. Yeah, and that was my choice, Tree of Temptation. Shut up. Go on. I wanted an arm wrestling championship. It's hardly the trials of Hercules, is it? I've had it with you. Fine. And I'm going to give you a clue as to what I've got planned for you. Fine. And that clue is that you're a joke, Ben. Ben's a joke. Hmm, I wonder what that could mean. And at 12.15 last night, a storm set in for sunshine as a big black cloud went over the big brother house. <laughs> 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 are you helping? <laughs> just me and John had just had a little bit of a laugh and my underwear etc showing and I just didn't really want that to go out on TV. As you are aware, before you entered the house, you were told Big Brother would talk to you about language or behaviour Big Brother deemed inappropriate. Big Brother is informing you that Big Brother does not deem this acceptable behaviour. Do you understand this? I understand. And that has told you, John James. Meanwhile, today, the housemates have been celebrating International Joke Day, facing five witty tasks in order to win a premium shopping budget. But will Big Brother have the last luck? For this week's shopping task, housemates will laugh along with the world as they celebrate International Joke Day. Cool. Why did the chicken run across the road? There was a car coming. Now, that really wasn't that funny. Housemates are actually trying to break the world record for continuous laughter. And exclusive breaking news from the website, this is a first for Big Brother, and we are very excited. Tomorrow night, one housemate will be writing their own jokes and, wait for it, performing a stand-up routine in front of our live eviction audience. Oh, yes, that's right. They will be walking out of these very doors face the crowds. And you know what? I think I might know who it might be. Has the wrath of the tree decided Ben's fate? Possibly. That's it for now, but head to the website channel4.com forward slash big brother for all the latest breaking news. So, as we've just found out, the house is being turned into Comedy Central. But how will the housemates handle such a daunting task? We need answers. We need a legend. We need a comedy genius. We need... 80 million TV viewers. 44 pantomimes. 60 appearances at the London Palladium. Winner of Opportunity Knox, 1971. Six. Not Sid Little, mate. Go on, sling your up. Keep it moving. No, 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 no. This, that there, that's Sid Little. Hey! Sid, 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 Sid. 
Sid's hurt his back, all right? He's on the phone. Sid? How are you doing, Sausage? Hello! You all right, Sausage? Yeah, hands up all those who thought I was dead. <laughs> Sorry, Sid. Anyway, you're all right, though, aren't you? How's your back? It's all right. Well, I brought it with me, yeah, but it's, no, it's, it's OK. It's, uh, I struggled yesterday, but I'm sorry I can't be with you all tonight. It's all right, so it's all good. And now what tips can you give the housemates in their comic delivery, Sid? Uh, don't do it. Don't do <laughs> no, it. No, no. <laughs> no, no, the thing is, it's, um, it's not easy. Comedy is the hardest thing in the world. You can prove you're a great comedian, uh, you can groove you a great singer, you can prove you're a great pianist, but you can't prove you're a great comedian, because all it takes is one person to say, well, you didn't make me laugh, and you're dead, so... That's it. That's why it's the hardest profession in how, showbiz. How do you uh, how do you write a comedy routine, Sid? Uh, you, well, you'll have to ask the writers for that. But no, no, no. We, we the thing is, that me and Eddie, little and large, we we actually got, uh, the audience uh, created ours for us because um, we used to do the pubs and clubs in the north, and uh, we just sort of. Uh, I mean, I used to keep my face straight because I was a straight man, really. Right. Uh, and uh, he, the people would say, like, how do you keep your face so straight? And I thought, oh, hey, that's something. So that stuck Botox. with me for the rest of my life, yeah. Uh, so Ben's going to be performing his routine to, uh, to a crowd of 1,300 people. What is the big comedy don't, Sid? Don't, don't laugh at your own jokes. Right, OK. Yeah. And that's it? Well, don't, don't laugh at your own jokes and, and uh, be confident. Be very confident. Don't let them, because if they see fear, if that audience sees fear, they'll go for the jugular. They'll get you. And uh, there's no mercy. On, uh, uh, let me tell you, they will do down here outside the house. Yeah, well, then, then, then it's hard work. Oh, wow, is it outside the house? Yeah. Wow. Sid. Wow. <laughs> I won't want that gig. Let's see it. Let's see it. Good job you haven't got it, Sid. Uh, give him a big round of applause. Yeah. Sid Little, everybody. And now the time has come to record the official attempt of our spinning around task. Here's Emma with all the details. <gasps> Sid Little, man, what a legend. Uh, right, so this week's You Versus a Housemate is called Spinning Around. It's very simple. How many times can you spin around in 30 seconds? Now, the funny thing is, it's like the housemates have psychic powers because yesterday at 2.32, this happened. <coughs> Two, Two, three, four. What are we five, counting? 60? Six, six, seven, 120, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is spinning, Shabby. Spooky. It's like they're in training already. But before we meet our winner, let's take a look at the best of the rest. They were good. They were good. Oh, so were good. good. But the entrance that got us in a spin to win was Kieran from Guildford. Yeah. Yeah. Spin to win is Kieran. And give it up for our independent adjudicator and task team official, Ben. Yes, Ben. Ben. Yeah. They were less excited about you, Ben. Ben, uh, what did you like so much about Kieran's attempt? I loved his speed, his yeah. dexterity, and his ability to spin around for 30 seconds without falling over. He did brilliant. very well, well didn't he? Shall we well take done. a little look at Kieran's attempt? Damn right we should do. To make it in a milkshake shop? Because, like, you know, milkshakes they blend. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's quite ironic. So, you know. Right. Good. Smart cookie, this one, guy. <laughs> uh, which of the housemates would you like to go up against, Kim? Uh, Corinne, she's hot, but um, probably Nathan or John James for competition. Right, okay. Really? You'd like to put one of the boys yeah. on, the, yeah. uh, on the back foot a little bit, yeah? Like your star. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, you previously achieved uh, 32 spins in 30 seconds. Do you think you can beat it this time around? Definitely. Yeah. yeah? yeah. 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 Uh, excuse me, guys. Before we get too overexcited, Ben, please, can you remind us of the rules? Of course, yeah. You must start on the circle. Yeah. I'll count each full spin and keep on spinning until you hear the klaxon. Yeah? Right, ready? Yep. Off you go, get into position. Good luck. As long as you start spinning, I think it's possible that he might fall over. Yes, hopefully he won't. Uh, good news is we've got a, uh, a gorilla on standby with a bucket, just in case it gets messy. Uh, are you ready, Kieran? Yep. Time starts now, mate. Oh, 